Miss Renee and can you guess the letter this week? I'm going to show you some pictures and tell you the name and I want you to listen for the beginning sound and maybe you can guess what it is. Here's the first one. Umbrella. Unicorn. Underwear. Under. There's something under. Now these two are going to be just a little harder. Unicycle and utensils. Did you guess what the letter is? It's the letter U. Very good. Now let's do something with our fingers and our hands. And we're going to use our thumbs. So I want you to make a fist and I want you to keep your thumbs up. Can you do that? And we're going to be dancing around with them and wiggling them. So get your fingers ready, okay? You can put them down first. Tommy thumbs are up, so put them up. Tommy thumbs are down. Tommy Thumbs are dancing all around the town. Very good. Dance them on your shoulders. <laughs> That's hard. Dance them on your head. Can you see them up there? Dance them on your knees. Now tuck them into bed. You can even hide them if you want. Let's do something with our flannel board. Do you know what these are? They're umbrellas. And when do we use umbrellas? When it's raining outside. Do you see those raindrops over here? Let's count the umbrellas. One, two, three, four, five. Five umbrellas stood by the back door. The orange one went outside. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four umbrellas, pretty as can be. The blue one went outside. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three umbrellas with nothing to do. The purple one went outside, and then there were two. One, two. Two umbrellas not having much fun. The yellow one went outside, and then there was one. One. One umbrella, sad and all alone, decided to go join his friends, and now there are none. Let's do a song, and we're going to do it with scarves. If you don't have a scarf at home, you can use a sock, you can use a napkin, you could even use a stuffed animal, or you can just use your hands. But I'm going to use a scarf today, and we're going to put it on different parts of our body. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to put it on our knee, and we're going to sing it to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. Are you ready? There's a scarf. On my knee, there's a scarf on my knee. Hi ho, the Dario, there's a scarf on my knee. Let's put it on our arm. There's a scarf on my arm, there's a scarf on my arm. Hi ho, the Dario, there's a scarf on my arm. Now let's do our tummy, which is way down here. There's a scarf on my tummy, there's a scarf on my tummy. Hi ho the Terrio, there's a scarf on my tummy. Now let's put it on our head. There's a scarf on my head, there's a scarf on my head. Hi ho the Terrio, there's a scarf on my head. 
Okay, now I want you to wave it in the air. Wave your scarf in the air. Wave your scarf in the air. Hi ho the Dario. Wave your scarf in the air. Very good. I have a kit that you can come and pick up to go with Guess the Letter this week, which is the letter U. And uh, in the kit, there is a craft, and you can make a unicorn. And you'll be able to find all the instructions in there. You could hang it on your door. You could hang it on a wall. You can give it as a gift or just keep it for yourself. And everything is in there. But what you need to do is you need to come to the library and pick up the Guess the Letter of the Week kit. I also have some books that I found in the library that you might want to check out. One is called The Ugly Vegetables by Grace Lynn. Unicorns 101 by Kale Atkinson. Uncle Frank's Pit. You can see them down in that hole by Matthew McGillicutt. And the last one is called Underwear by Jen Harney. That one looks really cute. Can you find more books at the library that begin with the letter U? Come in and find out and let me know. I would love to know other books that begin with the letter U. And I will see you next time. Bye.